Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the first look at a brand new model from Schecter. This is the Silver Mountain. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day today. Welcome to part two in our Schecter mini series. Last week, we looked at the incredible PT Pro. If you missed that, I'll link to it above. But today we've got a totally different beast in the studio. As I mentioned, this is the Silver Mountain. Now the Silver Mountain is part of Schecter's C1 family. So here I've got the Schecter C1 SLS Elite next to obviously the Silver Mountain. You can see the body shape's very similar. Now the control layout, uh, the pickups, some of the other specs are different, but part of the same family. Now, before I launch into the tones and the specs, I need to talk about the paint job on the Silver Mountain, one of its most, you know, unique characteristics. So the entire guitar is painted black, back of the neck, headstock, obviously back and front. Then they coat it in silver, and then they remove bits of the silver paint exposing the black underneath. So every single model of these Silver Mountains is completely unique. There's no two guitars that will look the same. Uh, it's not a sticker, a veneer, or whatever. It's fully unique. So one of the most incredible aspects of this guitar looks super cool. And, you know, I would imagine it would be a bit of a time-consuming process, but very cool. If you guys want to link to a specific part of the video, I'll put all the times in the video description below. You can just click there to take you to a specific spot. Other than that, let's jump in. Now the Silver Mountain I have in the studio today is the base model. It's also available with a Floyd Rose and a Sustaniac pickup in the neck. Uh, I think that's about a hundred bucks more. Uh, also available left-handed, so that'll make some people happy. And also available as a seven string multi-scale model. So, you know, they got some really cool models to choose from, but we've got the base model today. Let's check it out. So let's hit up some of the highlights in terms of features on the Silver Mountain. So we've got black Schecter locking tuners, very, very nice. The truss rod cover is kind of like this faux carbon fiber look. It actually matches the cavity cover right here. They both have that same kind of carbon fiber look. So that's kind of a neat feature, something unique that you don't see every day. Uh, we've got mahogany neck and an ebony fingerboard. Mahogany body, this is a set neck, so it isn't a through body. I think it's just, you know, a regular set neck, but tons of, you know, that contour there is just beautiful to play on. Um, and other than that, yeah, we've got uh, Schecter's Sonic Seducer pickups. These are brand new made in the USA pickups. So again, the guitar is made in Korea like most uh, Schecter's, but we've got USA made pickups. So can't wait to, you know, try those out. Uh, really, really cool looking blacked out bridge. Very, very comfortable to kind of palm mute, lay your hand on. And in terms of controls, we've got a volume for your neck pickup, volume for your bridge pickup, overall tone control right here, and it splits the coils. Okay, so those are the controls. And we've got a three-way switch. So like I was showing you guys the, the SLS1 Elite before, so different controls uh, lay out different pickups, but kind of from that same family. So anyway, that's the brief rundown. Right, so now let's tackle the overall construction of this guitar and look at some of the areas in finer detail. Let's start up with the nut. Now, if the nut's cut really poorly or if it's made of a crappy material, it's gonna wreak havoc on your tuning stability. Thankfully here, we've got a Graftech nut and as you guys can see, it's cut extremely well. It's flush to the sides of the neck, so very, very smooth if, as your hand comes down over that area and it's set up really, really nice. So it's cut beautifully, low action on those, uh, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth frets, really, really nice. Now the entire guitar from the headstock to the neck to the body is bound with black binding. Now it's hard to even tell that it's there because, you know, obviously the showstopper is that paint job but it's there, black binding over the entire thing. That really does help with the dots, um, you know, to locate where you are on the neck because there is so much going on. They've got black binding with lumen lay dots, which means, you know, as they gather light, they will glow in the dark. So that's kind of a nice touch, really, really big dots. <laughs> so you can tell they thought about the player's experience with this paint job. They're like, oh, we better put binding and some really big dots. So that is really appreciated. Now on the front face of the ebony fingerboard, we've got these really cool line inlays. I think it serves the overall aesthetic of the guitar really well. They look modern, they look aggressive, so I think they look really, really cool on this guitar. And in terms of the neck itself, it has two carbon fiber reinforcement rods, which should make it very, very stable. So you may not have to, you know, adjust the truss rod as the seasons change, uh, which is an awesome feature. I've got a couple other guitars that also have uh, reinforcement rods and they were, you know, rock solid. So that's an awesome feature. 
Now in typical Schechter fashion, the fretwork on this guitar is beautiful from the first fret all the way up to the 24th. These are extra jumbo stainless steel frets. You buy this guitar, you're going to be handing it down to your kids. <laughs> you know, it's going to be nearly impossible, you know, to wear down extra jumbo stainless steel frets. And as I mentioned, the fretwork is awesome. We'll take some shots here. So no tooling marks, just rounded, smooth. So as you slide your hand up and down the neck, everything feels top tier. Now, as for the body, we've got some amazing contours. This heel joint here is beautiful with an absolutely massive scoop. I can reach all the way up to, you know, the 24th fret without stretching at all. And my thumb, you know, is pretty much on the 17th or is this the 19th, 19th fret here. So, you know, your thumb can get right up to there if you like to play with your thumb over the top, full access. So, you know, the way they designed the, the ergonomics of this guitar is really nice. Um, we've got the belly cut right here. Okay, so we've got the belly cut, the contoured heel joint, the massive scoop there. Um, what else? I guess the arch top. I'll try to just kind of catch it in a little bit of light. I'm just going to look over to my monitor here. But anyway, hopefully it's catching the light there. But really nice arch top on the whole guitar. So lots of, lots of um, uh, comfort cuts, uh, really nicely ergonomic, so really comfortable to play. So this guitar with the unique paint job, with the ebony fingerboard, the stainless steel frets, the carbon reinforced neck, locking tuners, made in USA pickups, on and on and on. Uh, it's an incredible value, but we need to plug it in, find out what it sounds like. All right, so let's kick things off with some clean tones. Let's play a style that you might not associate with a guitar like this, see how it does. Now let's check out the pickups in their split configuration. So we'll start with the neck, both pickups and bridge. Let's take a listen to that. Alright, 
it's time for our short one minute jam. I'm going to play over a backing track. The link to the backing track is in the video description below. Let's take a listen to the Silver Mountain in a mix. So here are my final thoughts on the Silver Mountain. Well, first of all, this thing is going to turn heads. The paint job is absolutely amazing, and I think it looks great under, you know, all sorts of light. Very, very cool. Now, in terms of the tone, the bridge pickup is very, very bright. You can tell um, I actually mixed up the volume. So the first volume is for the bridge pickup. So that kind of tells you a little bit about, you know, why and how this guitar was designed, <laughs> you know. Slam it in the bridge pickup, use your volume right here. So anyway, um, in the middle position, because you do have two independent volumes, you can kind of mix and match and get interesting tones. And, you know, you could do that with your split coils as well. So it is quite versatile. Um, and I thought it sounded pretty good clean too. I did lots of clean and kind of like semi overdriven tones. So, you know, in that split, it kind of takes all the aggression out of it and it becomes just a really nice versatile instrument when you click it into the full humbuckers you know it does what it's supposed to do and it roars so i'll link to this guitar and maybe a couple other models in the video description below you guys can click on that get all the specs but in terms of playability it has the same uh, slim C profile as the PT Pro that I did last week. So, you know, jumping between these two guitars was not too, too much trouble at all. Um, same 14 inch radius, very flat, very playable. Um, they did feel slightly different because of the stainless steel frets, uh, a slightly smoother. If you've never played with stainless steel frets, it does have its own kind of feel to it. Very slinky, very smooth. Um, yeah, easy to do slides and bends. So playability, really, really great. Thanks so much for watching and checking out part two in our Schecter mini series. You can check out the t-shirt store, the tab store, all that stuff is in the video description below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. Other than that, have an amazing week. Take care.